What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we're gonna be talking about an Air 15 alternative. This is the Ruger Mini 14, and it has been around for quite a while. One of the things that I like about this particular rifle is that it doesn't look super menacing, but it still does almost the exact same thing as your standard AR-15 AK rifle. It takes 5.56 to or 2.23, it takes detachable 30 round box magazines, and it runs a uh, very, very well known and proven grand action. It also has a really, really cool and classic look. I've always been a big fan of the Mini 14 because it's like a modern version of guns that I grew up loving, like the M1 Carbine and the M1 Grand. And I got this rifle in a trade. I traded uh, my 5.56 AK for this, and I got some cash as well. But uh, yeah, I got this brand new, uh, unfired, so that's pretty awesome, and we're gonna shoot it for you today. And a couple of other things I really like about it, besides the fact that it doesn't look like your standard terrifying AR-15, is that it also comes with a couple of features that make it legal in certain banned states. For example, it doesn't have a uh, collapsible stock, it doesn't have that super evil flash hider, and uh, many other things on this rifle as well that can make this available for you to purchase in some states where you couldn't get an AR-15. And I know that because of that, a lot of people think this rifle is less effective. Maybe 1% or 2% in certain areas, but if you were in a home invasion situation or something like that, I'm gonna show you today that this rifle is more than enough to defend yourself or be uh, good on the ranch or whatever you wanna use it for. Even in a pinch, it might even work for a three gun rifle. One of the uh, problems with this gun though is it's not quite as modular as something like an AR-15 because it doesn't have quad rail and all the accessories. It's not easy to put a light on or a red dot, but again, still very effective. I'd say that's good enough. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty powerful, huh? Yeah, it definitely does the job. That's yeah. for sure. So the first thing I wanted to mention about this rifle is some of the ergonomic issues that I spoke of earlier. So a red dot would help this rifle out a little bit. Another thing would help out a little bit would be a shoulder stock. So if you're trying to mount the rifle with a modern shooting stance, like kind of aggressive, kind of like that, you know, people are gonna give you shit about the elbows, elbows in, whatever you wanna do. But this rifle, the stock length is more designed for a more bladed stance, like the old school 70s, 80s kind of stuff which is cool too, it works perfectly fine. It actually works better than a weaver stance and a handgun because you have more to hold on to. So if I had to fix a couple things about this, I would make the stock a little bit shorter, I'd probably add a red dot. The grand action, I really like it personally. I know a lot of people prefer the AR-15 action. It's not a problem for me to rock a mag in and uh, flip the charging handle. The one thing I don't like about the M1, uh, the Mini 14, <laughs> Sorry about the traffic here in the middle of Iowa, which is hilarious, but the uh, one thing I don't like about the Mini 14 is the safety. I don't like the trigger mounted safety. I really prefer the Air 15 safety or even the AK safety. Uh, or even a cross bolt safety I would prefer all over this particular design. I do not like this. I don't like having to put your finger in the trigger guard to uh, remove the safety, because there's a lot of situations where you want to remove the safety and you don't want to fire around. And for me, especially with big hands and glove hands, like we're shooting in the winter, it's really easy to have a negligent discharge while you're trying to release that safety. Now, I haven't done it personally, but I've seen a lot of videos on it, and I've heard even my friends do it. Thoughts? So 
my first impressions on the gun is it's awesome. I don't see a reason why you would dislike this gun. Now, I know there's a lot of accuracy complaints. You know, this gun only shoots three MOA and my AR-15 shoots one and a half MOA. Uh, if you're talking about like self-defense or even any other real application, aside from target shooting, I don't see a problem with that really. I, I don't see why 3MOA wouldn't be combat effective. Other than that, I think it performs really well, I think it looks cool, and I think it shoots a very capable and common round. What more could you ask for? If you like this video, please like and subscribe, please help out your local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later. Just farm life. Gotta wait for the trucks and tractors and all the shit to drive by before I can talk about guns and, you know. He is literally going like two miles an hour because he's trying to watch to see what we're doing. Yep. He's like, is that the outlaw?